is nobody's fault besides mine. Um, that's the size of the TV for the bedroom, but it takes up the whole curved wall if I hang it like this and it's so intrusive. I've never owned a TV. I don't know why I didn't think that the measurements are being told to me were smaller than this. We're gonna have a motorized lift. Ooh, so it can come out when you wanna watch it and go all the way back down when you don't want to. What in the world am I thinking right now? I have not one clue. When in doubt, tape it out, baby. So that is exactly what I did. With the tape, it just gives me a better eye and a gauge to come back and just measure back and forth as I am framing the base of the build. Originally, I was gonna have the headboard come out the back on the curved wall just cause to me it made visually the most sense. But once I kind of just sat there and laid down and tried to look to the side of the TV, it's just so inconvenient to watch it that way. So I opted to make it come out of where my feet will be in the bed. So this, you just see me altering like where the headboard is basically to the left hand side, which it won't make too much sense right now, but I promise it will make sense when it's a finished product. Because we moved where the TV was popping out of, we needed to remove the windowsill because that needs to open up completely flush to the wall and give enough space for this massive TV to pop on out of. With the TV being stored in the bed, obviously we want it to move up and down freely. Just grab a hydraulic system if you can. I ordered mine off of Amazon for the size of my TV. And when that TV sits flush in the frame, all that space that's underneath is actually going to be storage slash a mini closet for me when I live in there. I mean, are you looking at my TV? Or are you just happy to see me, you know? That's massive. I added the hydraulic system where I wanted the TV to pop out of, and then I decided to add the two by four frame that just gave it enough space for the TV to fit into. And we started to cap the inside of what will be the storage slash closet underneath the bed with just some basic quarter inch ply. three outlets actually beneath the framing. So I'm just making sure that I have access to each one. The TV has its own, this wall has one. Then on the right hand side, there's another. I don't think I'll be using this back one too much, but I didn't want to just cap and cover it. I want to make sure I have access. I always had this idea to have like a nook underneath the bed. I don't want the base of the storage of the bed to be flush to the entire facing of the bed. I just feel like that's going to make the space seem a little bit um, more crunched than it already is. So I am framing out a two by four situation to add a little bit of wall to kick the underneath the bed a little bit back. And you'll see the accent area I'm creating in just a bit. Sony Bravia XRX95K actually comes with a mount that you can mount three different ways, but I want to put it onto hydraulics, so they don't provide that for you. You need to buy that separately. I am trying to figure it out here with Ali. Actually, Ali is figuring it out for me, and we decided why not just install the TV right now because we needed to win. I was like so tired of looking at this damn framing. Can you try again? Yeah. Wow, almost hit the fence. Before we went to install the actual TV, we decided to secure the lift to a two by four frame that we're putting underneath. That way it's not wobbling forward or backward. This is so fun. All right, so what do we do now? This is the 
most? Are you joking? Oh my god, I just got flabbergasted by my own Netflix and chill. Oh, bedroom lights? Sure. Do you want them dimmed? Do you want them bright? Do you want to get storage? Or do you want... Okay. <laughs> A 65 inch Sony Bravia popping out of the end of your bed, baby! Oh, Netflix and chill? Duh! You look so slow. Like, <laughs> okay. Like, we get it. You're a TV. Oh, no, no. I'm like, no, 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 but I can't get to it because it's stuck on the hydraulic system that I ordered. No, how embarrassing would that be? This thing is sexy. A TV baby. Oh my god, this is fabulous. What do you mean? I don't know my password. Let's talk about Sony's Bravia XRX 95K Mini LED TV. A baby. Hi, nice to see you. You look basically real. Okay. There's a lot going on with this TV and it packs a powerful punch, hence why the entire build was centered around it. With a thousand mini LEDs controlled by the mini LED backlight master drive, that is why it's producing a picture that has such unprecedented brightness and contrast. Not all content is created equal, which we know we don't love, but that is why your TV needs an advanced processor. The XRX 95K actually has a cognitive processor XR, which sounds really fancy, but what it allows your picture to do is sound most realistic, look most realistic, sound most natural, look most natural. That's not real. If you guys are interested in checking out Sony's Bravia XRX 95K mini LED TV, I highly suggest you hit the link in the description. I've also pinned it in the comment for you. Don't you worry. They have a ton of other incredible products, which you guys know, I don't gotta explain. Hands down, I've never owned a TV and this thing is absolutely stunning. These things just do this underwater? Let's get back to the build. Thank you, Sony. I decided to add some gas pump braces to where the bed will be lifting just to make my life easier. That way it lifts up. I don't have to DIY something to hold the bed up and it holds the appropriate weight and just alleviates the pressure on its own versus you trying to be like, I got this, you know, like it's just an extra arm and extra strength for you. Oh, mother. F okay, that's the issue. You see what I'm seeing? Let's cut this back. Who f***ing cares? You know what I can do then? Put the lip underneath this, and this can just live as one piece. Do we cut the bracket short, or do we just cut the 2 by 4 right there? You're smarter. Yeah, let's cut the 2 by 4 How's it looking? It worked, right? Yeah! This is just a plug-in extension cord that I drop down into this little guy, and I'm gonna trace the facing of this. I just need a test to make sure it worked. Okay, so unplug it, it works. Figure that out. I'm truly not sold on the placement of this plug, but it is very convenient to have an extension cord living in the frame so I can plug anything I want in and charge my phone and just have it readily available versus like trying to get underneath the bed to plug it into the plugs that I put underneath the framing. Crazy. Now that the bed is installed, we can have fun with some of the details with that nook I was telling you. The first detail I'm gonna do is actually light it on up because underneath it will be, like you can roll out the bench to step up because this is such a high step that will have plants on it to add some green to the space. Because again, this space is very cold and kind of straight and these details are gonna warm it up a bit. I started to box in the TV after everything else was done and we we're gonna wrap that and move forward with wrapping this sucker up because it looks super basic with the ply but this is where the pretty details come in and it's gonna hopefully blow your mind.
obviously you can wrap this bed in any which way you want, but I thought it would be cool to incorporate the vinyl wood that we used over in the cabinet build in the kitchen to wrap the bed over on the left-hand side of the trailer. Now, the reason that I'm opting to do that is to blend both sides of the trailer to kind of make it look cohesive since this is a very open living space. So when you're in the kitchen and you look over, you can see this bed. It's gotta be pretty people. about the details and I wanted to really warm up this space because again the build's a little cold it's sharp there's no real like round edge or warmth to it so I grabbed my angle grinder and cut down this old rug that had a ton of oil stains on it from an ex-boyfriend's house that it couldn't live on the floor because you could see the oil stains so much so I didn't feel bad cutting it down and making it the back texture of this little accent nook because when it lights on up I don't know it just adds a whole nother level of detail and warmth Literally shaking. I'm so. Someone! Oh. oh my god, a perfect thing. Oh my god. You have a bed. Oh my god. This is a big step up. This is insanity. This is so fun. I can't even do this. Wait, what? There are clearly a couple things that are unfinished, but I'm gonna be saving that for the bedroom makeover episode and its completion. But one thing I do wanna mention is that this bed is fully functional for me. It holds everything that I own closet-wise. I get to sleep on it, cuddle my dogs, have the TV and movie night, but also when the TV is down and it's closed, that is my desk area and a space for my morning routine to read my books and write in my journal. I get to just pop up and do that immediately looking out the window to the sunrise. You guys, I've never built anything like this a day in my life, so we obviously know that there's things that we could tweak and learn from, but I mean, I've never built like anything this a day in my life, so I hope this gives you encouragement to go after a big build that you're doing or transform your space uniquely to you that people maybe have given you the side eye on because they're like, well, that's just not, it's like, no. DIY your life and DIY it to be the life that you love. I love you guys so much. I will see you very soon for our next DIY. Movie night. Movie night. What are you in the mood for? You should we watch that book since the book the book is so different than the movie? Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Wait, so why am I already so gonna cry? You are gonna yeah probably cry. We're in your beard. Got to play the video.